Beach State Park at the Environmental Learning Center. I'm Ranger Sam. This here is Marsh. And we have Annie, our educational summer intern. Um, we're going to be doing a pretty simple craft that involves an alligator. Um, and Marsh is going to be accompanying us. We'll be telling you about this modern day dinosaur along the way. Um, Annie's gonna go over the craft and then I'm gonna chime in with alligator friends. Mm -hmm. So for our craft today, we're making a little alligator out of a clothespin and some other supplies. Uh, for our supplies, you'll need some green paint and a paintbrush. If you don't have paint, you can also use a green marker. Um, you'll also need a green pipe cleaner, some googly eyes, a clothespin, some scissors, uh, one piece of white paper and one piece of green paper, and also some glue. Uh, you can either use Elmer's glue or we have hot glue here that we'll be using today. Uh, for the first step of our craft, you will need to paint your clothespin green um, and then let it dry. Once it dries, you can add your googly eyes. And then Sam here is going to tell us a little bit about Marsh and her eyes. Yeah, so alligators are ambush predators, so their eyes are situated on the top of their head as well as their nostrils. Um, alligators have three eyelids. They have an upper, a lower, and one that goes side to side. We'll see if she can show you her nictating membrane, which is another name for it. Um, and they can actually see over 300 degrees in their vision. So can't see directly in front of them or directly behind them, but she can still kind of see the camera. Um, so she's keeping her eye on you. Yep. Uh, in the next step of our craft, we are going to glue the teeth on our alligator. So for the teeth, you'll take the white piece of paper and cut little triangles in it. And then when you're ready to glue it, you will glue some, you put some glue on the bottom. So, and then put the teeth right in the middle and then clamp down. Get that out of the way. <laughs> Alligators are born with, oh, she's not opening her mouth. Um, <laughs> they are born with 70 to 80 sharp little teeth. Um, there we go. She's smiling now um, a little bit. So they're born with 70 to 80 sharp teeth um, in their lifetime. That could be 60 plus years. They rotate those teeth out, um, kind of like a shark. And in, in that lifetime, they could go through 3,000 teeth. Um, and Marsh here doesn't have a significant bite force. It's probably equivalent to a puppy or a kitten. But as they grow older, that bite force is much stronger, um, upwards 1,500 to 2,000 PSI. Um, and Lucas here is getting a really good close up. There's these little dots. Um, those are sensitive nerve endings and that allows her to sense movement in the water. Um, also aids in her ambush ability. And the next step in our craft is we're gonna take our green paper and we're going to cut a little rectangle out and bend it to where it makes triangles like this. Um, and then we will glue that onto our clothespin. I'm gonna put three little dots here. And then make sure that's nice and bent. And then we'll put that right there. That serves as her osteoderms. Um, so osteoderms are bony plates. Um, this is a reptile, so they're pretty scaly. But if you notice, um, all down her back are these little buffs. Um, so those are just bony plates. Um, they act as armor, um, but it also helps radiate heat throughout their body. So they're ectothermic or cold-blooded, so they rely on their environment to regulate their temperature. This helps them to do so. So sometimes if you see them out sunning themselves, these osteoderms help them warm their bodies. Mm -hmm. And then for the final step of our craft, we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and you're gonna need about two inches uh, for each leg. Um, and then you'll bend it to where it kind of looks like a mustache, like that. And then you'll put some glue on the bottom here of your clothespin, like that. And you'll put one in the back, 
and then one in the front. And there you have it. <laughs> so a little bit about their limbs. Um, they have five toes on their front and you'll see some claws. And then they have four toes and it's webbed in the back and they're also claws back here. So they are extremely strong and agile. They can actually climb, um, but the web feet also help them swim. So half of their body is their tail, which is extremely muscular. Um, so if you see a pretty large alligator, um, don't let that fool you because <laughs> they can climb. Um, I've seen them climb trees, fences. Um, so that helps them. Also the females use their back legs to dig a nest when it's nesting season. Um, so that's really the, the craft um, and marsh as well. You can see that they look very different. Um, <laughs> but it's still a little fun craft that you can do at home. You can buy all of these supplies. Uh, Walmart or even Michaels or you may even have them lying around at home um, so thank you for tuning in if you have any questions about alligators leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it so thank you guys thank you